good, YouTube, man? Thank y'all for tuning in to I Am Fresh. And we are back at it again with another video. And to my fresh fam, thank y'all so much for always tuning in with your boy. And you know this, man. As y'all know, man, I'm a big kid at heart. I had a CO2-powered arrow gun featured on the channel before. Got a lot of love. You all seem to have a lot of questions about it and enjoy it as well, too. So I thought, why not bring another CO2-powered gun to the platform and what is that you may ask this bad boy right here no nah, i'm just playing man that was just a quick little test to make sure y'all paying attention man oh the, the deception we're talking about this glock right here this is a co2 power glock 19x man this is crazy listen back when i was growing up the bb guns wasn't looking like this this looks like a direct replica of a glock 19x right here man Everything seems to be on point. We're going to be comparing this thing to the real thing just to see if the controls is lined up. What I do know about this Glock 19X um, BB gun is that it is a licensed product of Glock, man. So I'm just expecting this thing to be spot on once I compare the two. Um, I think it's actually really dope, man. Also, this thing has a blowback system. So I guess once every time I squeeze the trigger, I guess that slide action is gonna keep going, man. So I'm interested to see how that works right there. Um, also, it's chambered in .177, which is a common pellet BB gun caliber, man. So that's what I pretty much see all the time amongst the BB guns and the pellet guns and all of that stuff. And this bad boy is mag fed. That's crazy. This joint has a magazine, man. So I need to get this thing on the tabletop so we can get this thing unboxed so we can really see what this bad boy is hitting on. So without further ado, man, let's unpackage this thing. We finally got this thing unpackaged and unboxed, man, ready to go on the table for you all. And I must say, this thing is absolutely crazy. It feels super authentic in hand, but you expect that being as though this is a licensed product of Glock. As you can see, it came with the user's manual or owner's manual, if you will. Um, it's loaded with everything you need to know about this particular thing. I'm not gonna dive deep into this, um, but anything from, uh, maintenance to operations all the way down to repairs. This is going to direct you through it all. All right. So we'll put this to the side here. And they also included in the packaging this little tool here. This is um, the tool you'll need to take down um, as well as install the CO2, which I will be doing off camera only because I do not know YouTube's policies wrapped around the BB guns or airsoft guns. Um, so I'm just going to treat this as if it was a firearm and just kind of stick to the rules and policies of that just so we could be on the safe side, y'all, all right? So with that being said, let's jump into this thing, man. So off top, man, this thing feels super authentic down to the weight, man, which is crazy. So you're getting an all metal slide, man, all metal slide. Again, you have a magazine, magazine release button is right here. You got that aggressive grip texturing, just like on the 19X. You got that little lanyard loop. You got your slide release right there and it's ambidextrous as well. You got one on this side, standard little sights reminds me of the glock just to let you all know um the takedown right here is just for decoration it's not functional but it looks super sweet um as you can see it's got a trigger safety y'all <laughs> it's got a trigger safety on it man all right so let's look at the magazine on this thing as you can see it's coming with a nice metal i'm not sure what metal they use for the mags but it kind of feels like steel a little bit um this is where your co2 will go right here. So you load the BBs in by dropping them in one, one at a time right down in here, and they fall right down in here in the magazine, and then you release that slide, and that provides the tension um, to feed the next round. And then as you can see, this is the port, which the CO2 gases will flow through, firing off that BB through the barrel, man. So wow, that's, that's super authentic, man. That's super authentic. You're getting a slight flaring of the mag wheel a little bit right there. Let's see, the magazine is in, so you're getting a slide lock back on the last shot. That's crazy still. Oh man. Man, they weren't making them like this when I was young, man. That's crazy. These BB guns done went to the next level. So I right, slide lock back. You can release that slide using that slide lock. <laughs> That's wild. My bad job, y'all hear me uh, laughing, getting all googly, man, because I'm, I'm just a big kid at heart, man. So let me drop that magazine one more time. Let's see. Yep, so super authentic man this magazine has a slide lock feature on there as well too because as you can see with the magazine not in it the slide just floats freely just like on the real thing let's put that magazine back in there so that's pretty much it as far as the controls is concerned man you got your glock logo in and all the right places it even says austria on there y'all what's crazy is this joint is serialized just like a real firearm you see the serial on the barrel hood you see the serial on the slide and it also has the serial 
down here at the bottom as well too. But on top of where the serial would normally go on a real firearm, this is actually a safety. All right, y'all, so the safety's a little tricky. I wish the safety would have had a better design, um, but you gotta kind of have nails to get in there because as you can see, it's super flat. There's no way of grabbing that safety at all. There's no way of grabbing it. You gotta kind of dig your nails down into that groove. So as you can see, red is fire. All right, and then you slide it back and it's on safety. So as you can see, the white um, dot indicator for safe is on. So as you can see, that trigger is in fact stiff, man. So, or you can use your tool, man. You can use your tool to lay it flat in those grooves and slide that forward like so. So you can use that tool as well too to dig down in there and slide that thing back on there, all right? So that's pretty cool, man. So that's a good safety feature in case this thing got in the wrong hands. All right, child, so let's do some comparisons. So as you can see, here goes my Glock 23 right here, my everyday carry. As you can see, there's no magazine in the firearm, couple racks. The weapon is safe. Let's go ahead and do a size comparison really quickly. And this is the same exact length, so the sizing is right. As you can see, lo location of the controls. It's all matching. Magazine release, Glock logo in. It's all, it's all matching, man. Everything is super official, super official. That's wild, man. Check that out. That's wild, man. So we'll put the real thing to the side. My first thoughts already is just that this thing is quality, man. I mean, you looking for a quality BB gun. I mean, this is, this is fire. I like it a lot, man. I really like this thing a whole bunch. I'm actually eager to see how much it weighs because it, it almost holding these two together all right, well, this compensator might be adding to the weight. This one does feel a little heavier, but it ain't too far, man. Minus the compensator, I would say they're about the same weight, so I think they even got the weight down pack, y'all. So I actually have a scale here. Let's go ahead and put this thing on the scale. Let's let it load up. All right, this one ounces already. Good. All right, so we'll put this thing with mag in and lay it on the scale. 23.25 ounces y'all 23.25 ounces on this one we'll take that off since this one has the compensator on it we'll leave the compensator on and just won't put the magazine in let's just see <laughs> y'all 23.7 well it just went down 23.65 y'all the weight is even on point of this thing all right so this is actually a good training platform, man. If you wanted to train some people on firearm safety and just how to, you know, become accustomed to a firearm, this is a great introduction to it if they didn't want to use a live firearm to start off with. So let's go ahead and set a target up, man. And let's go ahead and um, get this thing loaded up. I'm going to load it up off camera, y'all. Remember, I want to follow YouTube guidelines. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing loaded up off camera, man. And then I'll turn this back on when it's time to shoot it, man. So I'll see y'all in a second. Yeah. All right, y'all, so this thing is ready to go. So let's go ahead and put some shots on target. As you can see, I got me a little target set up down there, man. So we're going to go ahead and take some shots, man, and see how this thing does, man. So I think we got 18 loaded. All right, y'all, let's get it. Safety is off. Trigger is super gritty, y'all. Super hard and gritty. I thought the safety was on. So the slide did lock back on that last shot, man. That's crazy. All right, so crazy thing about it is, y'all, on the first shots, the first couple of shots, the trigger kept getting, like, stuck for some reason. I don't know what was going on with it. On I would say, like, the first three, the trigger kept getting stuck. It was, like, super gritty. It was to the point I had to check it to see if it was on safety, but it wasn't. So I don't know. Maybe it was just a break into the plastics or something like that because thereafter, the trigger became seamless. It, it is like two walls that you got to kind of move through before you actually get to the actual break itself. But as far as that super lock, like that grittiness of it, that smoothed out after that. So maybe that was just like some breaking shots that's been sitting in the packaging all that time. So maybe you just had to break into plastics or something like that. So I threw a couple shots for sure, um, you know, trying to get that trigger to work. 
But once I got the trigger working, as you can see, um, I was able to get like a decent grouping and I'm standing at about 10 yards right now. So the grouping is very decent. The blowback is not a recoil. It's just an action. So when you shoot it, I don't want you to think it's like a blowback because the slide is cycling. The slide is metal, but um, you, it's, it's, it's a very light, very faint blowback. Like you, you, you don't even feel it. It's more so of an action, like I said, than it is a felt recoil. All right. All right, fresh family. So I got another mag loaded. Now that I kind of got a good grasp on this thing, man, I'm actually trying to really, really put some shots on target to just see how accurate it is. We're going to keep it at 10 yards right now um, just to get used to it some more. Um, as you see, the slide is still locked back. You do not have to rack it to put one in the chamber, if that makes sense. However, you can go through that motion for training purposes um, to be acquired to actually, you know, working a real firearm. You can cycle it just to go through that motion without it ejecting or um, discharging a BB, if that makes sense, all right? So as you can see, I'm releasing the slide right there. The slide is ready to go. But say, for instance, I loaded a magazine and I wanted to just rack it. As you can see, that doesn't discharge the firearm, nor does it cycle a BB out the side. So you can go through that motion if you wanted to just use this for a training tool to just go through the motions of the ocean. Does that make sense? All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and put some shots on target too. Um, Let's really test it out. Let's just go for some headshots to see what the accuracy of this thing is. I'm um, gonna remind you, we just want some factory sites here and we had about 10 yards, all right? Where am I hitting at? Am I hitting high? Oh, I see where I'm at. The BB's so small. There we go. All right, so I did something. Something's wrong. I was riding the reset. It doesn't like when you ride the reset. You have to ask. Okay, so I was riding the reset just now, and it wasn't discharging a BB. So you have to, in order for the blowback system to work, you have to release the trigger all the way. I, I went into real handgun mode, and I was riding the reset, and you can't ride the reset on this thing. So that's that's one thing to take note of um, on this platform. You got to let that trigger go all the way back to home so that you can continue to allow, allow the blowback system to work, thus cycling another BB in. All right, y'all. So let's go back up top. We'll finish this off all at the head. There it is. That was it. As you can see, that slide lock back again. So I'm enjoying this thing right here, man. I want to get another, um, let's, let's, let's throw another 18 in here. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like on a POV type status. So I'm going to try to flip the camera around. So just so y'all can see POV, what it's looking like. But as you can see, super strong group. We talking about maybe a fist size grouping headshot um, at 10 yards, man. So this thing is pretty accurate, man. It's definitely pretty accurate, y'all. All right, Fresh Fans, so as you can see, we backed it up to about 40 to 50 yards right here. So we're just about to see if we can just put some shots on target with this thing to see what the velocity is. I probably should have did this early on before shooting all of those rounds because I'm pretty sure the CO2 is dying down on here. But it's all good. Let's take these shots anyway and just see what it does, all right? As you can see, we're getting impact down there. Oh, man, we're definitely getting shots on target, man. Last shot, man. 
as you can see shots on target with this bad boy man shots on target man and as you can see man that impact was relatively quick too what was it over like 300 feet per second i think it was like what 325 375 they was getting down there super quick man so let's go down there and take a look as you can see we it was all right here all right here man so not bad man i had to figure out where i was at so i ended up hitting around this area here but once i seen where the shots was going i got to tightening it up y'all see that man remind you y'all this is all the size of my hand y'all this is all the size of my hand y'all hi right, so that's actually crazy for a bb gun a co2 power bb gun this is absolutely a great training platform all right fresh fans so that's gonna wrap up today's video man i hope y'all enjoyed this thing as much as i did man if so don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below man what y'all think about this thing man i absolutely love it man this is definitely a great training platform and on days i can't make it to the range i'm definitely gonna bring this thing outside and just plink around with it to just get my trigger impulse together get my aim together man this thing is absolutely pressure man and if you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe button man you see what we got going on you see what we doing you see what we doing you know what i mean but until the next time i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one what you got to say Peace.